Cheat Commands mod, developed by Yanne252, is a powerful sandbox mod for Company of Heroes 3 that allows you to quickly set up and test almost any unit, ability or scenario that is possible in the game. And in this video, I will show you how to install and use it. You can only use this mod in custom games, not auto match or the campaign. So don't worry, installing it is not going to get you banned. To install it, go to your Steam library, select Company of Heroes 3, then go to the Workshop tab. Type Cheat Commands mod into the search bar, hit enter and there it is. Click on it, then click subscribe. I usually use the mod in single player skirmish, so let's set one up. Go to Game Options, Game Mode and choose between Cheat Commands mod Annihilation or Victory Point. I usually use Annihilation because it doesn't have the victory points along the top of the screen, allowing for more viewing space. With the game mode selected, if you scroll down, you can alter a load of the game's parameters before even starting the match. You can change the population cap, starting resources, turning the AI on and off, allowing instantaneous production, and so on. These settings remain for your next game, so are very handy to set up if you are switching between maps. And a big improvement over the Code 2 Cheat Commands mod, where you would have to do all of this manually at the start of every single match. And because Cheat Commands mod is a game mode rather than a tuning pack, you can use it combined with a different mod. I usually combine it with the camera mod made by Kais58, so I can zoom out more, and I use the test range map made by White Flash Reborn, which is a nice flat testing ground with range indicators, both of which are available on the workshop. One important thing to note is that Co3 does not load the models from factions that aren't in the match. So if you try to spawn a unit from an absent faction with cheap mod, they will often be displayed as a pink box. If you want all four factions units, Select a 4 player or larger map and make sure all 4 factions are featured here before starting the game. To use the mod, click the Cheat Commands button in the top left to open the menu. By default, whatever you change or spawn will be for you. But you can select other targets in this drop down. Or you can select a unit from a different player to make changes to them if you have this option ticked. If you made any mistakes with your pre-match conditions, go to the Players and Map menu. Here you can turn the fog on and off, you can turn the AI on globally, or if you just want one AI to be working, select a unit from them, then hit this toggle. You can manipulate your resources, resetting them down to zero, turning income over time off, giving infinite with this button, or a custom amount with these sliders. Below this, you can toggle speed ups for instantaneous production, the construction, and ability recharge, which affects both unit abilities and battle group abilities. And at the bottom, you can capture all the points on the map, which you can customize by resource type and you can also neutralize them. If you want more precise territory control, select a point, then open the selection menu. Here you can choose the owner. Unfortunately, due to a technical limitation, you cannot do this with victory points currently. So to capture a VP, I would suggest opening up the spawnables menu, which can spawn in any unit in the game at the crosshair center screen and spawning in a fast capping unit like the Kittenkrad for the intended VP owner. There is also a nice filter at the top of the spawnables menu that makes it easier to find the unit you want to spawn. Along the bottom you can switch to spawning structures, slot and team weapons, and battle groups. If you select a battle group here, it gives you every single option inside of it, so you don't have to make any choices. But currently, 
you can only use a battle group from the faction that you spawned in with. Yanna252 has told me he plans to add customizable battle group combinations like the Code 2 mod has at some time in the future. If you want to alter a unit after you have spawned it in, select it, then go to the selection menu. Here you can change its owner. If you click this toggle, you can kill or delete individual models. We're taking losses here. And over here, you can reinforce it one model at a time. You can alter the unit's health anywhere from zero up to full. Or with this button, you can make it invulnerable. You can stop the unit from auto attacking, which is very handy for units that don't have hold fire and something I use all of the time. Give the unit one star of veterancy at a time or a customizable amount and clicking this will teleport it to the crosshairs position. Once you have your unit set up how you want, you may want to create multiple copies of it if you are doing multiple tests. And this is where the clipboard function really shines. Select the unit, then click copy. Now you can spawn that unit in as many times as you want. Though if you have been changing ownership of the unit, its skin may be replaced by the default one. You can get team weapons to instantly abandon or clear off any upgrades that a unit has. And finally, at the bottom of this menu, you can give a wide range of commands to a unit. This is very helpful for controlling enemy units. Now, here are a few pro tips on using the mod. It can be really helpful to combine Cheat Commands mod with Tactical Pause. Though you may have to rapidly pulse the pause off and back on when you select a new unit to get the selection to register here. If you want the enemy to throw a grenade at you, here's how I do it. First, select an enemy unit and give them munitions. Then spawn in the grenade throwing unit for yourself. Target the grenade a bit beyond max range and hit pause. Then switch the owner to the enemy and unpause. Voila. This can apply to a lot of other abilities and allows you to do solo testing. To get an enemy unit inside a garrison, first spawn it for yourself, right click the garrison, then change the owner to enemy before it gets inside. If you try to change ownership when they are inside the building, the health bars don't change color correctly. Changing ownership of mines stopped working correctly after patch 1.40. So use the spawnables menu with the enemy selected here to create enemy mines. Cheat Commands mod is great for doing testing, goofing around with your friends, or creating cinematic situations. It is so versatile and easy to use that I urge you to try it out. And I want to say a huge thank you to its creator, Yanne252. Without it, a lot of testing that I do in my videos simply wouldn't be possible and our understanding of how Company Furos works would be more rudimental. This mod is a great gift to the community. Shout out to all my Patreon backers, Cheer the Brothers.